Frankie Frost and the Throaty Croakers by Freya Hardis. Read to you today by Gammy. There comes a time in every young frog's life when he or she lets out their very first croak. It is a very important occasion, no matter what the little frog is doing, whether they are eating breakfast, learning math at school, hopping over water lilies, or even sitting on a toilet. Everyone has to stop what they're doing and celebrate that little frog's first croak. But for one little frog, a frog called Frankie, that first croak never came. At first, his parents said, Don't worry, Frankie, your croak will come. You just have to be patient. But years passed and he grew from a little frog into a big frog without not even the tiniest of croaks. He exercised his throat muscles, gargled with pond water, and listened to all the great croakers from froggy history, but nothing worked. Other frogs could croak, and the birds could twitter, and the crickets could chirp, and the ducks quacked. It seemed everyone in the pond had a song of their own. Everyone but Frankie. He would never enter the annual croak competition or join in at the croak o'clock when all the frogs gathered together for an evening serenade of croaking. One night, Frankie was wishing for a croak when he heard a few new sounds from way across the pond. It was sweet and pure and quite unlike any croak he had ever heard before. The sound buzzed through the bulb brushes and fluttered over the flowers, and jingled and jangled and tingled and tangled. Frankie followed the sound to a clearing in the woods where a beautiful princess sat watching four joyful humans playing four strange objects. As they played, music sounded. This must be a music machine, thought Frankie, the secret to that beautiful sound. They were making music without croaking, Frankie thought. Maybe I can too. Frankie jumped for joy. He hipped and hopped and flipped and flopped. Then he silently thanked the princess and the players and ran back home as fast as he could. Luckily, frogs are very good at making things, and he had his own music machine ready before dawn. I think I'll call you Banjo, he thought to himself then let out a tiny froggy yawn. He picked up the machine just as the morning song of the pond began. The first sound that Frankie made with that banjo was horrible. The second sound was pretty horrible too, but after the 88th sound, it actually sounded pretty good. And by the 200th sound, it sounded amazing. Felicity, Fergus, and Fenton heard the beautiful sound and were surprised to see who was making it. It's Frankie, the frog who can't croak, they said. But what a lovely sound he is making now. He helped them make three music machines. One that honked, one that bashed, and one that plucked. Honk! Bang, bang! Pluck, pluck! At first, they sounded pretty terrible together, but after lots of honking, bashing, and plucking, and a bit of help from Frankie himself, they actually sounded good. In fact, better than good, they sounded fantastic. The frogs who had gathered together for a croak o'clock lifted their froggy ears to the most beautiful sound they've ever heard. They set off to find out where it was coming from. Ladies and gentle frogs, introducing Frankie Frog and the Throaty Croakers. Felicity Frog croaked. Frankie grinned and the band played all evening, way after froggy bedtime. Frankie, Felicity, Fergus, and Fenton got better and better. And this year, when the annual crow competition came around, Frankie wanted to be a part of it. But the three croak competition judges shook their heads. Only croaking frogs can enter the croaking competition, they said. Felicity, Fergus, and Fenton looked at Frankie sadly, but Frankie had another brilliant idea. 
if he'd made a human machine like Banjo, surely he could make a froggy machine too. Frankie set off with his friends to collect all things froggy. Felicity gathered her freshly pond water. Fergus plucked the loveliest lily pad and Fenton found the biggest, bushiest bull brush. Frankie added some nice green water reeds and made the first ever croaking machine. At first it sounded very strange. The second time it sounded slightly better and by the third it sounded fabulous. When the crowds discovered Frankie and the throaty croakers were playing, they threw up a cheer. And in the midst of all the music, Frankie introduced his new croaking machine and won the whole competition. The throaty croakers cheered loudest of all. All the frogs of the pond clapped and cheered and jumped for joy. And Frankie made a big, happy throaty croak. Croak! Other frogs could croak and the birds could twitter and the crickets could chirp and the ducks could quack. Everyone in the pond had a song of their own, including Frankie. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed.